Cause Raggy Doll, Raggy Doll, are happy just to be Raggy Doll, Raggy Doll, dolls like you and me One Saturday morning, the Raggy Dolls woke up to find a big, dark shape across the top of the reject bin. <gasps> Whatever is it? whispered Lucy, all of a tremble. I know it sounds daft, said Back to Front, but I think it's a boat. He was right. The Raggy Dolls were soon out of the reject bin and onto the boat. It's a beauty, said Back to Front. I wonder what's wrong with it. Let's examine it, said Dotty. The boat had an engine and sails, and it was big enough to carry them all, even Sad Sack. It seemed to be in perfect condition. No holes for the water to leak through, no broken ropes. L -l -l Let's take it down to the river and t -t test it, suggested Hi-Fi. And in no time at all, the boat was in the water. Ahoy there, shipmates, said Dotty. If it's all right with you, I'll be captain. What does the captain do? asked Sansa. Decides where to go and things like that, said Dotty importantly. Well, where are we going? said Princess. Eh bien, said Claude. Perhaps we can sail to France. We are not sailing to France, said Dotty. Why not? asked the others. Because it's too far away, replied Dotty firmly. Mais not for a bateau such as this. It is magnifique. I will get a map. And before Dotty could say anything, Claude was off. We could take a picnic, said Sadsack. And before Dotty could say anything, he was off too. Really? said Dotty crossly. The captain is supposed to tell people what to do. Claude returned with a map of Europe. Hi-Fi studied it. France didn't look all that far from England. Only a strip of water between them. I c c couldn't navigate that easily, said Hi-Fi. Yeah, no problem, agreed Back to Front. We could stay for the weekend, suggested Princess. I'm the captain and I decide where to go, snapped Dotty. And I still say France is too far away, whatever that map says. In the end, they all agreed on a river cruise, just down to the sea and back again. Ducks watched from the bank and fish dived out of the way as they passed. Behind them, the boat left two long furrows of water that rolled away on each side, bubbling and frothing like churned milk. Isn't it fun? What an adventure! squeaked Lucy. And we've hardly started yet, chuckled back to front. I hope we stop for lunch soon, thought Sad Sack. All this fresh air is making me hungry. Soon the river widened as it reached the sea. The wind grew stronger, and they could hear seagulls calling to each other. Stop engines, ordered Dotty. No problem, said Back to Front, switching off the engine. Drop the anchor, said Dotty. Drop the anchor, said Sad Sack. Whoop, cried all the raggy dolls as water splashed across the deck. But the sea was too deep for the anchor to touch the bottom. Oh dear, cried Lucy. Is it dangerous? Not in the least, said Dotty. But just then, a large wave broke over the deck. The raggy dolls clung to each other and gasped. Switch on the engine, ordered Dotty. But when Hi-Fi pressed the starter, nothing happened. Try again, said Dotty. <laughs> it's no, 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 not working, spluttered Hi-Fi. Here, let me have a go, said Back to Front. But the engine wouldn't start for him either. Lucy began to tremble. Now we know why the boat was in the reject bin, thought Sad Sack. He began to feel quite seasick. This is terrible, cried Claude. We are going to be shipwrecked. No, we're not, snapped Dotty. Buck up, everyone. All hands to the mast. Some black clouds appeared in the sky and a few drops of rain spattered on deck. It looked as if a storm was brewing. Keep calm, everyone, yelled Dotty. We'll have to sail her into shallow water. Does anyone know anything about sailing? No, said all the raggy dolls anxiously. You're the captain, muttered Satsack. That's true. Hoist the anchor. No one was sure which rope to pull. But between them in the end, 
back to front and hi-fi, managed to get the sails up. They began to flap and fill out. Then the deck gave a lurch and a shudder, and suddenly the boat began to move. It glided through the water like a swan, gathering speed as its sails swelled in the breeze. Hooray! cried all the raggy dolls. The storm clouds drifted away, and there was blue sky ahead. Don't look now. But I think we're heading out to sea, said Sadsack. Oh dear, shouldn't we turn back? asked Lucy anxiously. We should, but we can't, said Back to Front. Why not? cried Princess. But, but because we did, don't know how, said High Fire. If we can't go back, we'll just have to go forwards, said Dotty bravely. Aye, aye, Captain, said Back to Front. The wind will soon change direction and blow us back said Dotty. But it didn't. It blew steadily from behind, so that the boat held its course, straight ahead. The raggy dolls sailed on and on towards the empty horizon. Behind them, the cliffs grew smaller and smaller, till they were no more than a dark line on the rim of the sea. We'll never get back, said Sadsack gloomily. Who cares? laughed back to front. A yacht passed in the distance. There was a girl on deck, fishing, but she never noticed them. They passed a boy with a seagull perched on top, bobbing up and down in the waves. But most of the time, there was only empty sea around them, stretching away in all directions. I think this is ever so exciting, said Princess. So do I, agreed Lucy, but I wish we knew where we were going. Claude hadn't said anything for a long time. He was keeping lookout, staring ahead with a happy smile on his face. When he saw land ahead, he began to sing. Allons en France de la patrie, le jeu de gloire est arrivé. What's he singing? asked Lucy. I think it's the French national anthem, said Princess. They were heading straight for a white sandy beach. Mes amis, cried Claude. We are there. We have, how you say, made it. The boat glided ashore so gently that it came to rest with hardly a wobble. Well done, my little capitaine, said Claude. Welcome to France. And then even Sadsack began to enjoy himself, because at last it was time for lunch. It's ever so nice in France, isn't it? said Lucy. The raggy dolls paddled and sunbathed, and ate some more picnic, and slept under the stars. It was very late next morning when they woke up. There was no wind at all now. The sails hung limp from their masts, and the sea was like glass. I told you we'd never get back, said Sadsack. Give that engine another try, said Dotty. Aye, aye, Captain said back to front. <laughs> Hooray! It's working again! cried all the raggy dolls. Full speed ahead! ordered Dotty. The boat shuddered and the raggy dolls were on their way home again. Claude stood at the back of the boat and waved au revoir to France. Now we have this boat. We can return any time we like, he thought happily. They were hardly back in their reject bin before they all fell asleep, except Dotty. She had another look at the map of Europe. She could see the river they'd sailed up, and the estuary, and not far from the shore, an island in the sea. It was much nearer than France. That's where we landed, thought Dotty. I didn't think it was France. France is much further away. But she didn't say anything because Claude was asleep and he still had a smile on his face. It's not much of a life when you're just a pretty face.